Now let's move into some of the more exciting and visual shortcuts. And I want to start with these power hybrid shortcuts, which are a sequence of keyboard and mouse shortcuts. So you're going to you know, do something with your mouse and your keyboard simultaneously to unlock commands and features that otherwise don't have keyboard shortcuts associated with them. So we're now moving up, all right, our shortcuts mastery. And this first set, um, power hybrid shortcuts are a little bit harder to learn because you do have to be told them. And I'm going to give you some of the best ones here in just a second. So these are power hybrid shortcuts. They're hidden in plain view, but unless you know what, what they are, they're really, really difficult to find. These again are mouse plus keyboard shortcuts. This specific set you do need to hold down. You can access new commands and features that don't have shortcuts associated with them or otherwise don't have a command or feature up in the ribbon. And the only trick about these ones, and again, I'm going to give you some of the best ones right now, is you do have to discover them on your own. You can't just um, hover to discover to find them. So let me just quickly go through a couple of these. The first one is your slide master jump. Now notice it's the shift key plus you have to click something with your mouse. So that's what I mean by a mouse or a, a keyboard plus mouse combination. So if I'm here in PowerPoint, I'm just gonna prove this to you. This, this works differently if you don't use the shortcut. If I click, all right, the normal icon down below, I'm not holding anything on my keyboard. I click it once, I'm gonna get the notes pane. So here, let me just open up my notes pane. So first I get the notes pane, then I get the outline view. I click it a third time, I get the thumbnail view. I'm going to control shift H, which is the keyboard shortcut to hide your notes. So this is what I normally get. Notes, outline view, thumbnail view, and I'll control shift H to hide my notes. Watch what happens if I hold the shift key and click it. Hold the shift key, click it. I jump to the parent or the, the child slide layout for whatever layout I'm currently on. And let me just quickly go back to that. So I have this here twice for a reason. The first time you click this, and this is super important as you start to get into PowerPoint Slide Masters, the first time you click it, that's an ugly one. The first time you click it, you're gonna go to the um, child slide. The second time you click it, it's going to jump you to the parent slide. And let me just quickly demo this. So if I'm in PowerPoint, I want to you know, edit something about this on the, on the Slide Master. Holding the Shift key, I click the normal icon. I jump to the child slide layout. If I hold Shift and click it again, I jump excuse me, to the parent slide. Now, as you get better at PowerPoint, understanding what needs to happen here on the, on the parent slide versus what happens on the child slide, it makes a huge difference. And if you don't know, if you just give this to an intern and tell them to build you your slide master, you're highly likely going to get a broken slide master. So it's super important to understand what goes on your parent slide and what goes on your child slides as far as fixing or building a proper PowerPoint template, which is way beyond what we can cover here, but you can use this power hybrid shortcut to very quickly, all right, holding shift, jump to the parents, the child slide, click it a second time, jump to um, the, 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 the parent slide. So child slide first, then the parent slide. So that's one set of power hybrid shortcuts. A second set of cool power hybrid shortcuts is the setup slideshow um, shortcut, which is also how you get to your laser pointer. So if you hold control, Notice if I hold control and click and drag with my mouse, so if you're giving a webinar or a training, if you hold control and click with your mouse, you get the laser pointer. People always wanna know, well, what if I don't want a red laser pointer? Well, you can use the setup show um, power hybrid shortcut to get there. So if you normally click just the reading view, you get the reading view, obviously. If you hold the shift key and hit the reading view, you're gonna open up your setup slideshow options. Now there's a couple of things here, I'll just like give you a heads up, you can look at this up online if you want to. First off, this is how you can browse by individual windows. So if you want to get two PowerPoint presentations side by side, maybe you're doing one in Japanese, one in English, you can run two, two presentations simultaneously. Um, this is where you can change the default pen color for your pen. This is where you can change the laser pointer color. So if I ch choose blue, I click OK, I shift F5, I hold Control. Now I have a blue laser pointer. Again, if you want to change that again, just holding the Shift key, come to the reading view, and I just change it back to red. All right, so there's a bunch of different stuff, multiple monitors. Um, you can do custom slideshows if you're doing that. So within one slide deck, maybe you have 500 slides, you could set up a custom set of 50 or 100 slides to run a custom slideshow out of the same deck instead of trying to duplicate all of your presentations, which is a disaster. But there's a bunch of stuff to look at in here. If you want to get into that, I'm going to click OK. But just this is a cool power hybrid shortcut to quickly get up at those um, setup slideshow options. 
And just also note that as you save your presentations, the pen color and laser pointer colors will save to the presentation you save to. So if you ever open a deck and it's a green laser pointer and you don't want it, this is, not a lot of people know this, where you can actually change that laser pointer color. So let's go to the next power hybrid shortcut. So this is kind of a funky one, running a mini presentation. So if you normally just click, right, the, um, let's see if I hover, the slideshow icon, it will show your slideshow from that current presentation. If you hold the Alt key and click it, you actually get a mini presentation that you can still key through here. And as you get to a slide, if you hit enter or escape, you'll actually go to um, that slide. Now, one other one I wanted to quickly show you, so we talked about control, shift, let me come back to uh, this one. So shift, if you hold the control and shift key and click the normal view, control, shift, that is what hides the thumbnail view. And I just wanna point out, because people say, well, can't you just collapse it? You can collapse it, but you can never get rid of this thumbnail thing, right? So if you just come over here and click and drag, you're always gonna have this collapsed thumbnail. If you control, shift, plus click, it's gonna hide your thumbnail view, holding the control and shift key still with my left hand, I hit F1, is going to hide the ribbon up top. Just make sure as you come out of that, control shift F1, and then just click the normal icon. So that's a cool set of shortcuts. You can use power hybrid shortcuts, plus your shift sister shortcuts to control shift, hide your thumbnails, control shift F1, which gives you full editing space if you're on a plane or in the back of an Uber, et cetera. So that's just another kind of quick, cool one. One last set that I wanna go through, this is another super important set um, that I think you'll use a lot, is control shift drag. Now this is three sets, but let me just shift F5. This is actually three sets of keyboard shortcuts in one. And there's really no other way to learn this unless you go, unless someone really shows it to you. So you have control and drag, shift and drag, and then you have control shift and drag. And let me just quickly demo this for you. So if I come here into PowerPoint, if I take this object and I just click and drag, and I let go with my mouse, obviously it just moves over there. So that's just a normal click with my mouse and drag, pretty freaking obvious. The second one is control drag. If I take that same object and I move it somewhere on my slide, but this time before I let go with my mouse, I hold the control key, notice that I create a copy of whatever I dragged over there. And I can control drag again. So control and drag is a fast way to create a copy of something you want to copy here in PowerPoint. Let me just delete this out. The next set is shift and drag. So if I take, again, an object, I start to move with my mouse. This time I hold the shift key. Notice that I'm forced to align or move that object in perfect alignment, horizontal or vertical alignment with whatever I started with. So this is a super fast way if you need to move something a little bit further, but you want it to be perfectly aligned with, with where it started, you hold the shift key and you drag. And on top of that, you can then control shift drag. So I can control shift drag and create perfectly aligned copies of whatever I'm moving around on my slide, which is a super fast way to kind of knock out your slides as you're building them. So that is another set of really good power hybrid shortcuts. Again, you, you do need to memorize them. You need to hold them down. Those are super useful and you should be able to save you a ton of time when working in PowerPoint. So again, mouse plus keyboard combinations, you do need to hold them down. Um, again, accessing new commands and features that you otherwise can't get access to, as you just saw, and you do have to discover them, but I just gave you a wide, uh, a, quite a number of some of the best ones that I know of in PowerPoint.